guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you, just like the title above says, a tutorial using the new Urban Decay Vice palette. I really wanted to use this color right here. It's called Flame from the palette. So I basically based all the makeup around this color right here. I was gonna do a review on this palette, but I haven't had time. So let me just tell you that I love this palette so much. The colors are very pretty very pigmented and every single color in this palette is wearable. Let me know in the comments below if there is a color in the palette that you want me to create a look with. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. Okay, so, so far I've already primed my face. For that I used the Benefit Professional Primer. And also for foundation I used the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I believe I'm in the shade number four. I've also primed my eyelids using the MAC uh, Soft Ochre Paint Pot and did my brows just to skip a few steps. Now I'm going to go ahead and start with the eyeshadow. So I'm going to use the Urban Decay Vice palette, the new one, but uh, since it doesn't have a good transition color for me, I'm going to use one of my own. Okay, so I'm actually going to start off with my brow highlight and I am going to be using the palette. I'm going to be using this color right here. It is called Framed. And I'm going to take that with a flat brush and just apply it underneath the brow. Okay, so this color is actually a little bit dark, so I'm going to go ahead and just use my MAC Vanilla Eyeshadow. Okay, now I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This is the Makeup Forever 242 brush, and I'm going to take this Makeup Forever color. It's really pretty. It's like a yellowy brown color, but it's a perfect transition shade for the crease. And this is in the color M660. And I'm going to apply this on the crease. I'm going to blend it up pretty high, but just concentrate most of the color on the crease. So whenever you blend it up, it just diffuses into the highlight color. Also when you're applying this color, drag it out a little bit so it gives you a more elongated effect because I have a vision of how I want to apply the colors. So hopefully it works, but we'll see. So all I'm going to do is apply it onto the crease and just swoop it outwards like that. Okay, now I'm going to be switching to a more precise crease brush. This is a MAC 221 brush and I'm going to take some of the bitter color that comes in the palette. It's this really pretty orangey, brownish, burnt color. So I'm just gonna get some on the tip of the brush. And I'm gonna try to create, hopefully you guys can see, but on this I already did it, I practiced. I'm gonna try to create more of a cat eye crease with this brush. So I'm gonna take a little bit on the brush. I'm gonna start not at the very outer part of the eye, but I'm gonna try to keep my eyes open. So lifting my brow a little bit. Applying it onto the crease, sort of like halfway, and just sketching out my crease. Okay, now I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that same eyeshadow with the brush, and this time I am going to start on the outer part of the eye, and I'm going to mimic the motion I would do if I was doing a cat eye with my eyeliner. So starting right here, and just bringing it upwards. I'm going to stop about right there. And now whatever is left on the brush, I'm going to connect the crease color right here. So there's a gap right there. And just very lightly connect it. Okay, now I'm going to go back with this darker brown from the palette. This one's called Delete. And yes, my eyeshadow just popped out of the hole for some reason. And I'm going to use the same MAC 221 brush. Basically what I'm going to do is just deepen up the little triangle that we made on the outer part of the eye. So I'm going to start really close to my crease on the outer part. You want to build your shadow, so don't take a lot of the shadow and apply it. Take very little and sketch it out, basically. So if you mess up, it's not hard to fix. And I'm going to start to just flick it outwards. Okay, so now it's time for the lid color, which is probably my favorite part of this whole look. First, I'm going to start off by laying down a base on my eyelid. So basically, the part that I haven't touched, that's going to go everywhere. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Aquamatic Pencil. This is the number 
ME50, which is basically a taupey color. It really doesn't matter what color you use as long as it's more of a neutral color. And I'm using a cream shadow, so I'm just going to apply this all over the eyelid. This color actually looks really pretty if I just left it like this and applied some eyeliner. But not today. Okay, now I'm going to take my Too Faced Glitter Glue and using my finger, I'm going to apply this on the base. So, all over my eyelid. Just tapping it really quick. And now quickly, I'm going to take a clean finger and I'm going to use this color right here from the palette. It is so beautiful. This one's called a Flame. It's like a go uh, orange, goldy... Just a beautiful color. It's so pretty. So I'm going to take a clean finger and just pat it on. I tried using a brush right now, but it didn't work as well. So the finger is the best application method for this, for what I'm going for. Now I'm going to take a clean, flat brush and just softly blend out the edges from this color. Okay, now I'm going to apply some liquid eyeliner. I'm going to use the NYC liquid eyeliner because it has a very thin tip. And I'm going to do a very, very thin line because the thicker I make the line, the more space it's going to eat up from this beautiful orangey eyelid color, which is the main focus of the whole makeup look. And it doesn't look like how it looks like in person in camera. It's not doing it justice, but check out my Instagram because I am definitely going to be posting pictures of this look, so check it out. I'm also not going to do a wing with this makeup look. Okay, now that I've applied my lashes, I'm going to let them dry or let the glue dry and then I'll go back and apply some mascara. Now I'm going to move on to concealer. I'm going to be using this Dior Star Concealer and I have the shade number 2. And I'm going to use this as a highlighter slash to cover my dark circles, which I don't have, but basically mainly to highlight underneath my eyes, my forehead, my nose, and the center of my face. And if you guys didn't know already, this is my favorite concealer brush. This is the Makeup Forever 144 brush. I love it because look at the shape. It's so tiny. And it has a tip so you can easily get on little areas of the face. Makeup Forever and MAC are my favorite brush brand if you are really serious about makeup. I just love both of them. Now I'm going to go ahead and set the highlighted areas with my Ben Nye Cameo Powder. This is going to take a little bit of this because I am going to go in with another highlight just to brighten things up. Okay, now for bronzer, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronzer. This is in the number 20M with just a um, angled brush. Okay, now I'm going to take my Anastasia Contour Palette and use the banana shade which is the middle highlight shade to apply underneath my eyes this is going to make things a lot brighter and make just the eyeshadow pop a lot more okay now I'm gonna tight line my bottom waterline and I'm gonna be using two eyeliners and I will explain how I'm gonna be using two eyeliners so the first one is just a brown color this is the NARS what is the name Via de Martelli uh, pencil eyeliner and this is a brown color but it has a lot of red undertones when I applied it on this I had almost almost looked like a reddish brick color so I'm going to use this one first all over my waterline. So you can leave it like this if you want to. It still looks really pretty. But since I wanted something darker, I took the Urban Decay Perversion Pencil Eyeliner. This is just a black color. And I'm not going to apply this all over the waterline. I'm literally going to go maybe less than halfway in. So I'm going to go over that first eyeliner 
and I'm just applying very little just on the outer part of that waterline and now I'm gonna take the brown eyeliner again and I'm gonna start from the inner part of the eye so I'm just reapplying this eyeliner and I'm gonna go on top of the perversion liner so it just becomes a darker brown instead of a black and this is going to create a really nice ombre effect in your waterline which is really cool this was actually a mistake that I did on this side but I really liked how it looked so I just kept it and I'm doing it on this I'm gonna use that same brown pencil eyeliner and I'm going to smudge it underneath my waterline so underneath the lash line now I'm gonna take a pencil brush and just make it a lot softer on the edges Okay, so the eyes are pretty much done now. Now I'm going to go back to the face. I'm going to use this Laura Geller highlighter in Gilded Honey. I finally got my hands on this highlighter, and let me tell you, I, it's amazing. You need it. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and apply it to my cheekbones before I apply my blush. And I'm also going to apply it right on the inner corner of my eye. Now for blush, I'm going to be using this Becca blush. This is in the color Wild Honey and it's just the perfect go-to blush because it's very neutral. It's just perfect. So I'm going to take some of that and blend the highlight and the contour or the bronzer together. Okay, so I went ahead and finished my lips. I used Max Strip Down Lip Liner, and on top of that, I used Max Peach Stock, which is, in my opinion, the perfect nude with this look right here. I actually feel that you can wear a lot of lip colors with this look, even though the eyelids are a little bit orange, but you can definitely do like a cranberry color. I was actually thinking of doing this Sephora lipstick this is just a skinny lipstick so I don't know what they're called but this is in the number four and this is such a beautiful kind of um, darkish mauvey color it reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay 1993 lipstick that one I feel it's a little bit more on the cooler side okay guys so that is basically all for this tutorial I really hope you liked it let me know if you liked it by giving this video a thumbs up don't forget that you can also share this video on Facebook or any other social media. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel right here if you click this button so you don't miss any future uploads on my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I will have my usernames for those medias right here and also on the description bar below. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.